it's a big day my riverside royals merch finally came in loving it i have a bunch of different colors so i'll be changing these in videos but i'm wearing the black one today i kind of like the black and uh, we're playing a team who actually features black as a primary color colorado and we're actually hosting we don't have a lot of home games this year it's kind of annoying uh, we do host colorado oregon state stanford but after that it's a lot of away games we've already had a lot of away games ucla host asu at utah at cal and then that's our season pretty much cal is now ranked at number four this is our second pac-12 game of the year of course we are in the pac-12 now if you are just catching up on the series and we are 0-1 in the conference we've only played that one game against usc heartbreaking loss but we played them pretty well they're a really good team we just uh, had too many mistakes. Some turnovers by Adam Daniel really, really hurt us. Missed extra point by Terrence Fitch and a muffed punt by Willie Briggs. He hasn't played on the team in years. Uh, by <laughs> by Phil Triplett to uh, lose the game. Devastating. Devastating stuff. But today we have kind of a cupcake matchup in the 2-4 Colorado Buffaloes and do we have anyone visiting today we might let's see we do Fred Powers he's gonna be an athlete corner I believe where is he Fred Powers here he is 5'10 187 he's a five-star athlete out of Arlington Virginia with 98 speed 92 spin 94 juke and then pretty good coverage as well so He's a running back or a corner, but he's apparently a higher overall corner, I believe, because of that crazy speed. So we need four swatted passes, two interceptions, and with a really, really good game today against Colorado, we could be walking away with a Fred Powers commit. I think there's a good chance that happens. Georgia is gaining on us a bit. They really are, but they don't have their visit until week 12. So with a huge, huge performance, which is four swatted passes by the defense two interceptions and a win we i think will get the commit so big game we are now ranked number 16 of the nation after three consecutive wins including a massive upset of number one alabama in tuscaloosa can't take this game too lightly though riverside colorado coming up next so we have a special sponsor today yes it's manscaped the premier men's grooming brand, but I know we've worked with them before. However, the big thing today is they have a new ultra premium collection. So you're probably wondering, what is the ultra premium collection? Well, Manscaped has sent this to me and it is their new premium collection with so many different things like the Manscaped two-in-one shampoo and conditioner, the Manscaped body wash with a refined cologne scent, the new hydrating body spray, which is lightweight and quick drying as well, which is pretty cool. The Manscaped zero residue deodorant, which is of course aluminum free. That's a must nowadays. And, and even add in a bonus free gift, the moisturizing lip balm, which is in a handy three pack. So go to manscaped.com slash bangle. You'll get 20% off your order plus free international shipping. And when you get, of course, the new ultra premium collection, get the free gift, which is lip balm as well, which is pretty cool manscaped.com slash bengal that's 20 percent off plus free international shipping manscaped.com slash bengal thanks again to manscaped for sponsoring the video just realized my face cam was massive <laughs> i did that so i could show you the uh the riverside stuff but uh obviously probably don't want that for the main video so you kind of miss some of that recruiting stuff a little bit but we're into the game already those are the pac-12 south standings you can see a lot of California teams in there at the top. UCLA, USC, and then Riverside closing in. It's funny to see us rank number 16 in the nation, but be at the very bottom of the Pac-12. Looking for that first win. Should be today. Rain coming down here in Riverside, California. Not used to this, but we need Adam Daniel and company to bring us to the promised land. Why are they showing Phil Triplett? Is Reggie Gonzalez hurt? Is Reggie not playing? What's going on? We need to check on that. But Colorado coming into Royal Field. Time to defend the castle. Defend the kingdom. 
Number 16, Riverside, looking for that first ever Pac-12 win. Colorado will win the toss and elect to kick. They'll get the ball to start the second half, and we will start by returning. Phil Triplett back deep. Here is the kick, and we are underway. Pac-12 action. Riverside, Colorado. Triplett will return. He'll get a block or two, but not even get back to the 20. As Adam Daniel will take the field. No passing touchdowns last game, but did have three on the ground. Really run-focused attack against the Crimson Tide. Might try to air it out a bit this week. But we shall see. Here's Reggie. So he's going to be healthy and not injured. They were just showing Phil Triplett. As we're going to look to escape the pocket with Daniel. Get back up the field. Daniel with good speed and he'll slide for a very odd 10 plus. Third and one after Reggie Gonzalez couldn't do anything. I think we can fool him with play action. I'm looking for Justin Bennett. If any of these streaks win quickly, it's not really the, uh, the goal there. I know they may have been open. But when you're running play action on third and short like that, you got to get the football out quickly. So, wasn't looking down the field. Was just looking to get rid of the football. So, it's kind of my goal on that. And I see Michael Ham. Can we get the football in there? Beautiful ball from Daniel. And Ham's got a touchdown. It's been a while since Adam Daniel unleashed a laser beam, held the button down, went for the bullet pass, and he threw a bullet. And that is a new school record for career receiving yards as Michael Ham passes 3270. Big touchdown for Ham. He is a senior. So this will be his final year as a Royal, regrettably. Speaking of seniors, this is the senior year for Adrian Chandler, Craig Jackson, Greg Hall, Alan Hart on defense. They're going to call a screen. It's the Hall monitor. What are you thinking? Leon Forte will lose two on the Lewis screen pass. And we'll st we're still looking for those deflections, interceptions with our DBs. And if they want to pass, go five wide. I would love that. And they're going to throw wide open for Carpenter. He'll break a tackle and Tim Washington drags him down. Chris Carpenter. Carpenter was a, a pitcher for the Cardinals back in the 2000s and 2010s, I believe. Third and six for Colorado from midfield. They're going to throw to the running back. Lewis under pressure, and he's going down. It's Marcus Kerr. He's really starting to break out. Been playing really, really well, and that is a huge way to force a Colorado punt. Riverside going to jump back on offense. Our Pac-12 home debut looking to be a good one. And triplets buff the punt. Dude. Dude. Phil, please. I think Fick, uh, Phil Triplett's got to be off punt duty. That's one too many muffs for me. Listen, one, it happens. It's a random occurrence, but two in the same season, same half season, really. We played, it's our sixth game. Phil Triplett cannot be back there anymore. Does Bruce Clemens really have 96 speed? Bobby Anderson is 99? No, he does. He has 95. I'm so confused. All of these, uh... Do they get more speed on returns for some reason? You see what I'm saying? This is really odd. I mean, it's showing that he has 99 speed in the depth chart. But I don't... I mean, it can't be true. Are we getting boosts for some reason? I mean, I'm not complaining. Second and two, handoff. Why does Reggie Gonzalez feel so slow? That's a couple runs in a row where he's felt really, really slow. They keep coming down with three down linemen, and I keep audibling to runs. I, I, will, I will run the ball down your throat. Respect the run or die by it. Third and inches, three down linemen. We are running the ball, and Gonzalez has an easy first down. Reggie is cooking to start this game. Six rushes, 30 yards. Nothing particularly impressive, but just a lot of consistency. And on first and 10, can we take the top off the defense? I think we can. We're going deep for Corey Warren. Beautiful throw and great catch by Warren. Becoming the preferred deep threat of Adam Daniel this season. 
had a massive catch against Alabama late in the game last week. And that's a big catch there. First and goal, Riverside from the eight. We'll work play action. Even though we should run the ball with three down linemen. And we'll throw for Justin Bennett. It's a touchdown. Slightly behind him, doesn't matter. Adam Daniels starting out four for four, 115, two touchdowns. Awesome performance so far. Lewis under pressure. He'll throw, and that pass will be deflected by Joseph Brown, nearly intercepted. How about we catch one of those every so often? That would be nice. Third and two for Colorado. Let's see what they dial up here. There's going to be a throw, and a throw to the flat at that, and a first down by Sean McDuffie. It's a screen, wide receiver screen, plenty of room for Williams, and that is another Colorado first down. Run. Oh, Forte with a good cut. He's working through Royals, and that's an eight-yard gain. Brings up third and short. Do we blitz here? They're going two by two. Clemens on the running back. It's going to be play action. It's going to be a deep throw away. And on fourth and one, I wouldn't be surprised to see a punt here. They definitely should go for this, but I'm not complaining. Fourth and one from Riverside Territory. And congrats. You guys got 20 yards after the touchback. Brain dead. Brain dead decision. You know might might work well? Is moving Bennett over? We're running a counter. So, you know, the fewer guys on that side of the field, the better. Oh my goodness. Michael Ham got absolutely pancaked. <laughs> Quick throw to the tight end, wide open. See, sometimes when the CPU runs zone defense, they show their hand too early. And they had a guy covering the flat, and he just sprinted to the flat. And obviously, we knew we could throw that ball pretty quickly. First and ten, let's see who wants to get open. It's going to be the running back, Phil Triplett. Just got to get the football out quickly. He breaks a tackle. He's still going. Phil Triplett, first down. First and ten, working play action. We're going deep down the field for Humphreys. Wow, what a play by the DB. First incompletion of the game. I was almost certain that was going to be a touchdown. Unreal effort. We're actually going to work. We're going to work a pass here. I mean, I like the matchup. They're pressing Michael Ham. I think that's a really big mistake. And he's got a pretty good release. We're going to throw it deep down the field. Bomb to Ham. Touchdown. Their DBs just are not respecting the deep ball. And Adam Daniel taking complete advantage. It is a flood in Riverside. Lewis going to run. Big mistake. <laughs> you can't escape the hall monitor. Greg Hall. Throw over the middle. Lewis with all day. We'll look to run. He's got plenty of space and he's still going. I thought he was going to slide. All right. It's a run. It is. And he's going nowhere. Joseph Brown playing at the line of scrimmage. Got into the backfield immediately. And brought down the running back for a big loss. Dude, that linebacker is so... Or that offensive line was so far up the field. Just blocking. That's an illegal man downfield. Although they're not calling it, obviously. Because it's stupid. But look at these linemen. They're working. That's far more than a yard down the field. The ball still isn't even out. Look how far he is, dude. Where'd they snap the ball from? The 42? By the time the football comes out, he is on... <laughs> He's past the 45 of the other side of the field. By the time he can't... I mean, look. He's to the other 42. Oh, what an effort by Greg Hall. Third and short. Shed the block. Make the hit. Beautiful. Colorado still showing absolutely no balls. They're going to punt the football again from midfield on fourth and manageable. Yeah, great job. Daniel being chased. 
We're going to actually take off. Daniel just steps out of bounds. Good run. Didn't want to get too crazy there. Had an option to sling it down the field, but we're not going to do that. I'm actually shocked Colorado's played quite as bad as they have. Like, I know they're not very good, but they haven't really been able to do anything offensively or defensively. It's been, it's been an overall terrible showing, which, again, I'm not mad about, but I am a little bit surprised. We're going to get out with Daniel and probably just run and step out of bounds. I'm playing smart this game. I'm playing conservative, but we are taking the shots when they're available as well. I think it's been a really good game plan. It's worked out, and, you know, we're winning for good reason. And that is a, that's a dangerous throw. If 42 wants to make an insane play on that ball, is Slaughter is his last name. Uh, he really could have done a lot there, but ball goes over his head. It is first and 10. And we're going to throw for Gonzalez. Ball hung up a bit, and that is nearly intercepted. But we'll hit the ground. Mr. Williams in coverage. I mean, Gonzalez looked open. I know that's like, oh, X was wide open. I tried it, but it did not work out. And we might not even get this snap off. Oh, we do. They play the running back. Daniel, just not quite fast enough to turn that into more. They're actually going to pinch the line. Will it matter? Uh, yes. <laughs> it actually looked like Reggie Gonzalez may have hurt himself on that as well. We're going to try a quarterback draw. Daniel will go up the middle, fall forward, and be just short. QB draw is really not that good of a play call. And Gonzalez is indeed injured. Abdominal strain. So he'll probably be out for the end of the first half. So we'll hand it off to Phil Triplett. And Triplett takes it right up the gut. Touchdown, Riverside. Yeah, it's a flood. This one's already over. It's 28-0. So we're being a little mean here. We're calling timeouts. We're going to force them to make plays. And uh, hopefully make mistakes. And that... Could have been pretty bad. All right, so no more timeouts for us. We're going to go three spies, though. I want them to throw the ball down the field. I want pass deflections. They're going deep, and that one is intercepted by Bobby Anderson. That's an interception that we really needed. Didn't really expect a pick there, but Anderson had good hands, made the play. And it's 28-0 Riverside going into the half. Yeah, we're in the driver's seat, obviously, but we're a much better team. We should be beating a team like this. They are only four overall better than Akron. Now, we're not beating them quite as bad as Akron, but it hasn't been close either. It's been a lot of the deep ball uh, from Adam Daniel. Found Michael Hamm, found Corey Warren. And uh, also, Reggie Gonzalez has been awesome as well. Justin Bennett on the touchdown earlier. But we've been running the ball quite a bit. Colorado will start with the football, have ample time to at least get a score up on the board. But we're, of course, still playing for those deflections and need one more interception as well. And we could get a big commit after the game. Make the pick. Clint Black has the interception. The red shirt freshman was just sitting in the flat and Brendan Lewis threw it right to him. Big takeaway, and we only needed eight seconds to get the football back. They're not covering Justin Bennett. Quick throw, touchdown Justin Bennett, number two of the game. The Riverside native scores in Riverside. Fourth touchdown by Adam Daniel already, and on only nine completions. Goodness. Oh, that's going to be very open. McDuffie down the sideline escapes Clint Black. 35-yard gain for Colorado. I don't know how they did that. Lewis will throw for Williams. Ah, I thought we were there. Would have been maybe a pick or a pass breakup with Greg Hall, though, which we don't really need. But we have the win locked up now. We're just still trying to make plays, obviously. And that's going to be thrown towards the end zone. Look at Joseph Brown. Second deflection of the game. He got airborne. 
Chandler can't make the tackle. Bates trying to do it. And the former five-star Marion Bates getting a bit more playing time will make the tackle. Saves a touchdown. And it's third and goal for Colorado knocking on the door for the first time. Will they come away with points? It's going to be a run. It's going to be an option keeper. Hall had to jump over Allen Hart. And it's a touchdown, Colorado. That's very frustrating. Touchdown, 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 touchdown. The Riverside offense is unstoppable. Play action. Daniel trying to escape. He's got good wheels. Daniel working up the sideline. Has space and will get the first down. Little Johnny Manziel action almost there. Play action. Daniel on the move again. We'll throw for Humphrey. Nearly intercepted. Why did he go up the field? Oh, my goodness. John Humphrey's nice catch. It's just such an easy 17 yards when they give us that type of space. Because we know John Humphrey's going to turn around and catch the football. And we know he's going to get yards after the catch. Might not always be a ton, but it, it usually is more than three. That safety's coming up. Play action. Under pressure is Daniel, and he is sacked. He doesn't have the speed to get away from Slaughter. That's a good play. Should have canceled play action. We saw the blitz, but it's a mistake. Six of six on third down. This one's going to be a very tough one to convert, though. 16 yards. We'll see what we can do. And we're going to throw for Warren. Jump ball, and we don't even end up getting the jump ball because we had to switch on and... Couldn't make the play. Fourth and 16, they want us to go for it. I mean, we're out of field goal range. Yep, that's how bad my kicker is. But uh, we also are not going to punt the football back. I love the aggressiveness. And we're going to work outside. We're going to throw for Humphreys. And he makes the catch. Touchdown, John Humphreys. Wide open down the field. It was just a matter of if we get in good position to throw. Daniel unleashes a really high pass. But Humphreys got the football down. Got the feet down. Um, and that is the TD. It helps when your receiver is like 6'5". You can kind of do that sometimes. So we're looking for a couple more pass deflections with DBs, I think, which I think we're capable of getting. To screen. Jackson all over it. Won't drop this one. Interception, Craig Jackson. And we were all over it the entire time. He's dropped quite a few of those. But holds on there. Second and two, stay up the middle. Gonzalez first down. And we are now looking at first and goal. As Gonzalez goes over 100. Get it to him again on first and goal. Try to get him a touchdown. And we should have it. Oh, he's going to be short. Couldn't get in position to lower the shoulder there. That's pretty frustrating. But we should be able to get it on second and goal. Same look. We caught him in a really bad position. And that is a Reggie Gonzalez touchdown. First of the game for him. And this Riverside offense continues to roll. Second and 14. They're going to go deep down the field on that corner. It's Keith Miller. Not too deep down the field, but it's a 23-yard catch. That's pretty significant. Lewis with time. And that one is going to be completed. Oh my goodness. He's going to keep breaking tackles. Down the field. What an effort. I switched on. Press LB to go for the deflection. Uh, we got nothing for it. I, Anderson just kind of watched. Unreal. Lewis to throw right at me. Another big conversion. It's first down after first down after first down for Colorado. This is a funny thing. Is This is what it looks like a lot. And then they get away from what works and they stop moving the football. But, yeah, it's a touchdown. I mean, when the CPU wants to move the ball, they will. That's what that comes down to. They will every time. Doesn't matter if we're in man or zone. They'll find a way, and that is a touchdown. Some would say there's no point for an onside kick attempt here. Five minutes left in the game. You're down by a million, but they're going to try it. And Lee Mayfield is there. And we recover. There is a flag. It's going to be a face mask. We'll take the 15. 
Daniel Reed option had a block. It's another big gain. It, these runs are always so close to going the distance. We have the blockers. We juke a guy out. And we just don't quite have the speed to make it to the end zone. We're so close every time. But it's just even with Reggie Gonzalez too. Phil Triplett. We just don't have that elite speed, unfortunately. This is fixing to be a 50 bomb. Quick throw. Justin Bennett touchdown. His third of the game. That ties a school record. I believe Michael Hamm has had three before. And Justin Bennett maybe has five catches today to match his jersey number. Three of them have gone for touchdowns. 56-14. Riverside. Lewis going to take off, and he runs right into Marcus Kerr. Third sack of the game for Riverside. Kerr second. See, you can already tell that this is not going to be a good drive. They do that nonsense on first down. It, it's going to be terrible the entire way. Yep, Lewis going to try it again. Sacked again by Marcus Kerr. Back-to-back -back plays with a sack. That's Kerr's third. And it's third and 21. You can just tell when the CPU is going to play like an idiot and when they're going to play like they're unstoppable. This is an idiot drive. Calling a screen. Lewis buying time. Sacked again. It's Marcus Kerr. Three plays in a row. And he has four sacks on the game. They ran a wide receiver screen and then did that nonsense. We'll see if we can get a block. It's very unlikely, but... Yeah. Anderson back to return. Apparently has 99 speed. I want to go into the team after this and see if that's true. Sure doesn't feel like 99 speed. Bennett is a touchdown away from breaking the Riverside touchdown record. He's not going to have it on this play. Daniel gets sacked. Third and 12. We're throwing for Bennett! Just couldn't get it to him. I don't think that was either a tick late or early as they want us to go for it again. I just couldn't get it to him. It's really all there is to say on that one. Fourth and 12. Don't know where I want to go with the football. We're going to take off with Daniel. And he's going to put the football on the ground. Couldn't go a game without a turnover. Ugh. Nice. Colorado content to run the ball here. Are they content with losing? I I don't really know what the game plan is. Jackson will get the TFL. We'll call a timeout because we need deflections. I think they're just trying to end the game, which I can respect. The game's been over for a long time now. It's about time they realized it. But now they're going to come out in five wide trips right. We'll see what they do. Third and eight. We're running with that. And that should be a pass deflection by Clint Black. That'll count. Five seconds left in the game. We need one pass deflection. Please throw the ball down the field. That's going to be an interception by Joseph Brown. Uh, I, I honestly would have preferred a deflection. I'll take the interception. It's cool for the numbers for Joseph Brown. I get that. But uh, yeah, would have preferred the deflection to meet the goal because it, it's not interceptions or deflections. I think it's just deflections. So... A little bit frustrating, and Reggie will fall down, lose two, and that is the game. Sorry for another blowout. Just kind of what happened. Colorado's not really that good. But uh, it's nice when there is kind of uh, a big gap between the not-so-good teams and the really good teams, and we're in that really good range. So I'm glad that we're playing like it. Sometimes you got to smash them. Daniel was unreal. Six passing touchdowns, 288 yards, uh, through the air as well. It's pretty good on the ground. And Reggie Gonzalez was someone we leaned on quite a bit as well. He didn't really have any huge breakaway runs or anything. Justin Bennett had three receiving touchdowns. That was pretty amazing. Just an overall dominant or overall dominant performance for the team. Yeah, Daniel was pretty much perfect today. Was sacked a couple times trying to scramble, but pretty much perfect. Had a couple interceptable passes. Thankfully, they were not. Gonzalez, 23 for 104 and a touchdown. Phil Triplett with a TD as well. Receiving. Justin Bennett, 5 for 52. Three touchdowns. Two touchdowns for Michael Hamm on his two catches. A touchdown for John Humphreys as well. We didn't really throw the ball that much. We weren't really on offense that much. I guess you know what Reggie Gonzalez had. 23 carries, so maybe we were. And then defensively, five tackles for loss for Marcus Kerr in the end. Four sacks. Touchdown for, uh, or a sack for Greg Hall. 
Interceptions for Craig Jackson, Joseph Brown, Clint Black, and Bobby Anderson. Three pass deflections. I think we needed a fourth. No force fumbles and uh, no touchdowns, of course. Big win against Colorado and Oregon State. Not amazing either. They'll be our week nine opponent, but I'm excited to check out recruiting. This could be big. Will we get the commit? Five-star athlete. Running back slash corner. Is he joining the Royals? Or will he hold out and maybe go to Georgia? Fred Powers is committed. Let's go, Fred. The power of powers. Welcome to the team. Clarence Brown as well. A couple recruits ready to visit, including Sean Sullivan. And of course, the recruiting battle for the safety, Brandon Stevens remains. Or Justin Stevens. Brandon Stevens plays for the Ravens. Justin Stevens, here we go. We are same place, keeping the same distance from Oregon, but USC continues to gain ground, and he visits them in week 14. It's gonna be it's gonna be not good. Let's talk about Fred Powers, five-star athlete from Arlington, Virginia. Will be the fastest player we've ever had. Corner or running back. Uh, either way, should be a really good return man. He has 51 return rating. I don't get that with 98 speed, amazing acceleration, great agility, great juke spin, all that. So he could return kicks. And I don't know if I like him more as a corner or a running back or both. And then Clarence Brown from West Covina, California. He's a four-star outside linebacker. Pretty great speed. Tackling, not amazing. Block shedding is pretty good. Coverage is pretty good. So I like Clarence Brown as potential uh, redshirt candidate and uh, someone that would play a lot as a redshirt freshman. Is Lauren Smith, yeah, Lauren Smith is the gem. We're probably gonna put 700 points is kind of a lot for a 70. I don't know. It's been a really defense focused uh, class for us so far. Is there anyone else we can add? We added a lot of guys to the board here. We can scout a few of them just to take a look. A Juco player plus two. I thought he'd be a receiver, and he is. He also could play quarterback 89 speed, 84 throw power, 85 throw accuracy. Josh Jackson is real interesting. He is a junior college player. I'm not sure he fits us too well. Oh, plus seven gem at receiver. Courtney Davis from Newcastle, Pennsylvania. I don't know why I think Ken Griffey Jr. is from there. I know he's from Pennsylvania, but I don't think it's Newcastle. I'm going to look this up. So Ken Griffey Jr. is from here. Denora, Pennsylvania. Newcastle is up here. They are close, but it's definitely not nearly the same. Got a lot of experience here in Google Maps. If you guys seen my third channel, Gene Dangus, I do a lot of GeoGuessr. I guess I haven't shouted that out in a while. Watch this. So I'm not one of the best in the world or anything, but I am decent at this game. I guess I lost my uh, my pro account. Whatever. Check this out, though. Anywhere on the world, and we got to figure out where we are. Gut instinct, I'm saying this is real far south in Jordan. That would be my bet. Not going to spend too much time on this, but that's just kind of what this looks like. It's really helpful when it gives me something to kind of illustrate my point. Uh, let me kind of line up the road here. It's a bit twisty, but we are pretty north-south. Could we be... Down in here, maybe? I didn't get my guess in, but I forgot we were on a time limit. I was going pretty far, uh, pretty close to that, so I didn't get my points, but uh, I would have guessed real close to that. 30 seconds. Why did I forget about that? Um, yellow plate. Well, that's interesting. Maybe old France plates? They are. So could this be like uh, Corsica, potentially? I'll throw out a guess a lot quicker here. All right, 1.3 miles away. Turns out I'm cracked. All right, there you go. There's the amazing guess. 21 miles away in Denmark. I figured I, I, I'll figure, uh, you know, just play out the seed. Ooh, I've seen these bollards before. I think I want to go like, oh, this one's kind of weird. Like, I want to go Peru, but I, I don't really have a good feeling about this. We're gonna go Peru. We'll go like in here. I I, no, I did remember. All right, 
I think I've had a similar uh, round as that before. I should have even gone a crazy. And this is like, this looks like Canada. Uh, yeah, definitely going to be Canada. 60. This is definitely not 60 miles per hour. Can I see plates? White, reddish plate. Maybe. I think we're going to go Saskatchewan. And we'll go like near Regina. Or Regina. To Ontario. Whatever. Would have been a really good game if I got my Jordan guess in. But yeah, that's the gist. Third channel, Gene Dangus. Link down below. And we're back. But anyway, Courtney Davis looks pretty sick. 90 speed. I mean, he's just he's just a good player. And we get a big bonus. We'll, we'll give him a scholarship. Carnell Russell is not awful, but not great. Marcus Shaw is another gem. 78 plus 7 gem from Trenton, New Jersey. Our New Jersey pipeline. Offer him a scholarship. North Versailles, Pennsylvania. Another gem! It's all gem receivers right now. 79 overall. This one might be the best of the bunch. 88 route running, 84 catching. Still 88 speed. Scholarship. Still haven't got that instant commit. What about another? I don't have the points. I'm taking them off this junior college player. Just to see. Can we get another? Plus two. He's still good. Hey, he really is, but... I mean, we might bring in an insane receiver class because of these three guys. Courtney Davis, Marcus Shaw, Tom Rowe. So I'm not even sure we need Kelvin Jones. But that's where I'll leave you. Week 9, got the Dynasty all saved. We're number 13 in the nation. As you can see from the top 25 here. Cal is now number 3. And the college football playoff poll is out for the first time. Tulane ranked in the top 10. Bunch of really good teams, and then, I mean, Wisconsin doesn't seem to be great. Alabama, Nebraska, and we are number 14 in the CFP. Oregon just ahead of us. Washington and Cal are the teams in the Pac-12. Where's USC? USC is not in the top 25. So this is going to be a really, really interesting end of the season. But uh, we got a lot of games to go. Now, third in the Pac-12 South. One and one in conference play. But in order to have a chance to go to the conference championship, we need UCLA, uh, UCLA to lose. And hopefully that's week 11. So I'll catch you in the next one. Take it easy. Over you, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna turn taking it back to the house. Defense a joke, I'm laughing so loud.